Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. My name's Jane Sarche, and normally I cook you guys easy one pot camping recipes here on this channel. However, today we're doing a video that has been requested ever since I mentioned it on my van tour video, and that is how to make these adorable cup holders for your camp van, your car, pretty much anywhere that you might need to hold a cup of coffee. So what do you need to make these absolutely fabulous cup holders? Well, my friends, it's as simple as a very classy bangle. Now this very pretty pink one came from a charity shop. It cost one pound. And all you need to be aware of when you go and choose your very own pretty bangle to make a cup holder is that your cup fits in it. It's that simple. So avoid the kiddie ones unless you like espressos and drink out of teeny weeny little cups. My rule of thumb is that if I can comfortably get a bracelet on and off, then it's gonna work well for a cup holder. Uh, make sure that it's rigid in design and make sure that it's about an inch minimum high. Something a little bit higher is actually probably better if I'm honest. Next step is you need to hunt down a grumpy builder. Now if you don't have your own, then I'm afraid you're gonna have to hack this bit yourself. My grumpy builder was particularly grumpy today. Um, so let's go and see if we can chivvy him up. Johnny has been hard at work on this van to the point that I hardly ever see him. What's that, Johnny? Who are you? <laughs> yes, who are you? This, I like your aviator suit. This is what holds the spare wheel one. Oh, that's that black sticky stuff you've been wearing for the last two weeks, isn't it? Yes. yes. So as you can see, Coco is still mid overhaul. Damn, he's been busy. He has been welding like this old whole bit here he's welded in and he's welded bit in windows and in the door oh, what the hell are you listening to oh this is uh what are they called uh, they're a busking band what are they called fat bollard i remember <laughs> Don't listen to this music if you've got children in the room. So he's like, he's welded this bit in and he's welded this bit in and it looks like some polyfiller's gone on top of that. He is like putting some serious love into bringing this old girl back to her prime and the guts are still hanging out. Please, may you come and help us make a cup holder? Uh, no, not right now, I'm doing this. I've got to use this paint up before it goes off. Oh, have you? I tell you what, can you come and give me a shout when you're ready okay thank you okay we've just ransacked johnny's workshop for some wood and he's found this perfect piece of ply and he's really grumpy okay darling so you put your bangle on top of your piece of ply draw around the inside of the bangle as beautifully modeled by johnny and then very sweetly ask johnny to cut that a circle out please darling You're so grumpy. It's not working. <laughs> oh, God. Honestly. Oh. We're getting the tools out now, look. It's all, this is grumpiness. It's all because he wants to be working on his van, not helping me, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. Hey. And then just check that it sits beautifully inside your bangle. Johnny! Whoop whoop! You're gorgeous, thank you! <laughs> oh look, we don't actually need to do anything else to that, but yes we will, because we do need to fix that in place. And for that, we're coming up here to the glue sticks box, and we're going to grab the glue gun and go and plug this in. Okay, so I find the easiest way to do this is to put your disc of ply down on a surface that you don't mind getting a little bit of hot glue on. Pop your bangle over the top and then get a hot glue gun and just squeeze some in. You don't need to do it right the way around at this point. This is just to hold it in place. Just let that go off for a minute or two. And then at this point, I like to turn it over and just fill in all the gaps with the hot glue gun. It doesn't matter too much if you get a little bit of um, a lumpy effect because of the way we're gonna fix it onto the dashboard, that actually won't matter. And this side, there's a little bit more of a gap there, so just squeeze extra glue down in that bit. Again, let that go off for a couple of minutes. 
and then finally turn it over and then this time you're going to squeeze glue into the corners but you're going to squeeze quite a lot and actually look at that you can see all the daylight through it basically what I want to do is entirely fill all of that edge up with glue Now the inside of my bangle is metal so I'm not going to do it any damage here and I'm actually just running around the inside with the heat of the gun, not squeezing any more glue out just to melt that glue and it makes it look really really messy but it really squidges it in all around the sides. Then finally when you've done that just make sure that you take away any of those little strings hanging off the edges that make it look really cheap and tacky because obviously this is a very high class DIY. And then the only other thing you're going to need is some double-sided padded adhesive stuff. Now, this is from a pound shop. I do not recommend you buy this one. It was horribly cheap and nasty to work with. It does do the job, but it's not fun, I have to say. So it either comes in these like little rectangles or it comes on a roll. So then all you need to do is turn your cup holder over. Try and release some of these horrible, horrible sticky things. Then stick them onto the bottom of your cup holder. Comme ça. So as you can see, here's my other cup holders. Um, again, both bangles, both charity shops. This one was one pound. This one was one pound fifty. And obviously I got them because the colors are so perfect for Myrtle. Now you can see what I mean here. This one isn't very deep, whereas this one is perfect. Cups really snugly fit in there and they don't go anywhere. This one is maybe a little bit too shallow. So do bear that in mind when you are looking for your perfect cup holder. Um, I'm actually thinking I'm gonna put this one down here because Obviously, I have already have two cup holders um, and I'm actually thinking I might put a little plant in this one. And then all I'm going to do is pop that down on a flat area. Obviously, you should clean your surface first. I'm too lazy for that. So there we are. We now have one, two, three cup holders. And that, my friends, is how you make a very gorgeous and pretty cup holder for your van. You can be as colour coordinated as you like, or not, who cares? Okay, so in my head this video was going to be really polished and shiny and I was going to do one of those really cool YouTube video DIYs where, you know, like you just all want to go and run out and make the craft of whatever it is that they're building. I appreciate this video is probably a little bit pants, um, but ultimately it's not about how good my video or editing skills are. It's all about having somewhere to put your cup of coffee. That's all. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hell, if you didn't like this video, do a girl a favour and still give me a thumbs up. I'm going to catch up with you next week and I'm sure there will be food involved. As always, friends, have a brilliant week and a fantastic weekend, whatever you're up to. And I'll see you on the other side. I've decided that my pretty little pink one is going to be for my little garden.